Hello, Virgo viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks or so. Um, I know the last reading I was doing for you guys, I was getting that there was a karmic relationship and then there was um, a life partner. And I think you originally thought the karmic was your twin flame or your soulmate. Then you're going to find out this other person is. You've already met them or they're coming in, but... It is really, you're in for a shock when it comes to your love life. A good shock, I believe. You know, it's, well, good in the long run. It might be kind of surprising at first, kind of realizing that the person you thought was your person might not actually be. But I think that you've been aware of the red flags. I think that you just kind of tried to brush them under the rug a little bit, which we all do. It makes sense. It's totally understandable. It's hard. Um, it's hard, you know. Uh, karmic relationships can be really difficult. But, but you're in for some good surprises, you know. So let's see what the cards have to say about your love life. Let's see what's going on. Glad to have you all here. It's really funny. I just got a notice saying, I don't know if any of you watched Vampire Diaries or the originals or any of those shows, but I just got a notice that there is a Vampire Diary TikTok video. And it just like kind of, it was kind of resonated with this reading. It was really interesting. So I'm like, that's kind of the same story in that TV show where it's like, she starts out and you guys think, you know, she's going to stay with stuff and that's her person. And then it's like actually Damon, the, the one that you would never expect ends up being her true love. I'm on Team Damon, just for the record. I would have chosen Damon, too. <laughs> okay, isolation, loneliness, um, emptiness, truth and clarity, loyalty, stability, uh, vows, making promises, clubs, parties, social life, beauty, mystery, enchantment. What do I have room for these? Um, open, honest communication message. Chaser, chasey, power struggle, apology, regret. Ooh. Mm, confusion and uncertainty. Home, sense of belonging, safe space. Cold, guarded, distrusting. Elaborate on cold, guarded, distrusting. Passion, romance, and X past. Can you guys see that? Oh crap, you can't. I don't know where to put all this. <laughs> there we go. That kind of works. <laughs> okay. I think this is somebody that kind of detached themselves from you a little bit. Like maybe they didn't fully they just didn't really express their emotions to you. You know, it's like they feel alone. Like, I think that they feel alone around most people. Like, they have a hard time connecting with people. They feel kind of empty. They probably have, you know, some, um, just some, some issues here, basically. Um, they feel kind of isolated from the world. And I think that they, I think that you knew that. I think that you saw that in them. You knew that they felt alone. You knew what they were all about, but they tried to hide that from you. They tried to put on a front and kind of pretend like they were okay or pretend like they were stronger than they, they'd pretend like they were, you know, just have, having to be strong all the time, just not completely letting you in. And I think that they want to open up to you. I think they want to talk to you and be open about um, what they go through and what they feel. They want to be more vulnerable with you. They want to, um, you know, come forward and, and talk to you. They 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 don't want to pretend anymore. I think that they've kind of put up a front with their friends, with their family, with you, um, kind of trying to just, you know, carry the weight of the world on their shoulders or trying to be something that they're not. And I think they're at that point where they want truth. They they want honesty. They they want to let you know who they really are and um, you know, what they want. And it reminds me of that song, um, that Goo Goo Dolls song about the what was it? 
I don't want the world to see me because I don't think that they'd understand when everything is made to be broken. I just want you to know who I am. And they're wanting to come through with a promise. I think that, see, I think this, this club's party social life, I think that's part of them putting on a front. That maybe it's like their social appearance just kind of meant way too much to them. You know, that was like beauty, mystery, enchantment. It's like they, they, they weren't being fully themselves. They weren't able, they weren't allowing themselves to just be vulnerable. It was all about show. And now they're wanting to come forward with, an, with a message and apologize for this, apologize for the power struggle, for, you know, playing games, for having such a big ego, um, for, for being so confused. You know, I think the reality is it was them, not you. It's like they were confused about themselves. They were insecure and they were trying so hard to hide their insecurities that they kind of projected them onto the people around them if that makes any sense. It's like they were in denial about their own insecurities. They were unwilling to do their own shadow work. They're wanting to come forward and apologize and, um, you know, let you know that they feel at home with you and let you know that they're, you know, they're sorry for being cold and guarded and distrusting when all you were trying to do is help them and be there for them. Um, they want that passion and romance back. This is probably someone from the past, but like I was saying before, I don't think this is necessarily the life partner. I think this is probably the karmic and you probably had such a strong connection with each other though that you might have felt like it was a life partner. But then I think you started seeing the, um, you know, we got shyness and fear of rejection here. I think they, that um, that you started seeing the the red flags and the kind of toxic energy and the insecurities that they were trying to hide and you know the fears and you you kind of started seeing what was really going on it's like they put on an image that underneath the surface there was a lot of chaos going on and I think you just got tired of them not being able to be authentic and honest I think you got tired of them putting on a show and not being willing to express their emotions not willing to do shadow work not willing to take accountability for themselves I think you just got tired of all that energy you know and I just feel like this is a karmic, but it's like it was such a strong connection that you it, it felt it felt like some it felt like a soulmate or something more. But I think now you're realizing it's a karmic. You're realizing what the lesson was in this connection. You realize that this isn't the person you want to spend your life with. You realize that you know the the image they present to the world is not who they really are, and you're not. I mean, you might not even be sure who they really are. So it's like you might not even be sure if they're potentially a life partner because they've been so fake around you and around everybody that you don't even you just don't even know you know um but I do feel like a new person's coming in and this is for everybody that I channel for this whole group um I mean like everybody that's drawn to my channel I feel new love coming in that's a collective energy I keep getting for the majority of zodiac readings that I do let's see the new person willpower strength confidence vulnerability receptive yeah somebody new person would be um somebody who's strong and confident and has willpower and they're able to be vulnerable and open and they're 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 emotionally available in ways that the ex wasn't i think the ex was very emotionally unavailable very lost and it's okay to be lost like everybody's lost everybody has damage everybody's had their heart broken probably multiple times but the thing is, though, with the ex is that they were not willing to hold account to hold themselves accountable. They were not willing to do shadow work. They were not willing to um, to move past that energy. They they kind of just played the victim, or they kind of just you know lied to themselves and pretended like they weren't insecure when they they really had insecurities that they needed to work on. You know what I mean? Um, and it's like it's not fair to you that you don't get to see the best side of them that you don't get that vulnerable side of them because they're too afraid to let you see it you know it's not it's not a good relationship for you i don't think but with this other person i think that they're confident and strong enough to be vulnerable you know they understand that you know if you love someone you're risking getting heartbroken but they're they realize that you're worth that risk could be somebody who's aware that you're not over the ex too and so they're choosing their words wisely and trying to take it slow. Or it could just be somebody that's kind of has this awareness that you're, um, 
just that you haven't fully healed or that there's, you know, some kind of energy there with that. Yeah, taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. I think you manifested this. You manifested love. And they wanted, you know, taking it slow is a good card. Spying, yeah. Someone who's kind of watching you, I think. This person might already be aware of you. Might be someone on your social media who's kind of watching, but they're not sure what your relationship status is. Not sure if you're open to them coming in. So that's where we're at right now with that and I hope that resonates with you if it does please go ahead and subscribe share like um I do private readings too I have some reading specials going on for January $40 for a 30 plus minute video reading or $5 for five pendulum questions and all my contact info is below thank you for watching